<clears throat> Should Manny Pacquiao fight still? Should he fight again? Or should he retire? My thoughts on it? He's got to fight one more time to figure that out. And if he does good, he could fight one or two more, in my opinion. And personally, it's up to him. It's up to him what he wants to do. Like, it's his body, it's his life. Uh, but I think one more fight. And let, let, let me tell you why I think that. And if he does do that good in that one more fight, say if he comes back, I think two more and then that that's it. And I, can't, I know I kept on, I know if you go back to my old videos, I think I said that like five years ago too. I just don't, no one wants to see him retire. No fan of him wants to see him retire, but it's got to happen sometime. And it, it's, it'll be, it's a sad day when that happens. Because uh, he's given us so many good fights, but uh, okay. So let me get into why I don't think he should retire. Uh, I think he shouldn't retire because uh, the fact that he came off of a two-year layoff and there was ring ring rust. You can't just say it's all old age. He's forty-two. No, there is ring rust. If you look at any fighter that takes a long layoff like two years they never come back spectacular in their first fight unless they're fighting like like a Rod Salka like Danny Garcia did like someone like that they're not gonna come back and look spectacular against a top level guy like Ugas a top five welterweight like that just doesn't happen um a, a perfect example of this is when Keith Thurman came back from an injury and fought I think it was Colazzo the fight before he fought Pacquiao and he looked bad. That was his first fight back and he looked bad. Um, he got hurt to the body and he just, he didn't look good. He barely squeaked out the win. And then obviously in the Pacquiao fight, he got a little, he shook off a little ring rust. He got a bit better and that was a competitive fight. So I'm saying this because people say, oh, He's old, he's 42. That's the first thing he, the first conclusion they come to when they see a 42 year old lose. And I know you could, you could say it's because it's Pac Man and we're used to seeing Pac Man do a lot better, right? So I know Pacquiao's such, you could argue that Pacquiao such, set such a high bar that. When he looks like that, you think, oh, that's it. And I know, yeah, that, that, could be, that could be an argument, right? But it was a two-year layoff. There's ring rust. There's no, there's no question about that. There's ring rust. And his legs, his legs, his calves were, were tight. They, they, this isn't the first time it happened, but it's obviously, it's not good when it's combined with ring rust. So his legs were stiff, he said. He couldn't move. They were, the, crap, the calves were cramping, both of them. And he's not lying because you've seen he wasn't really using his legs. And you can't take anything away from Ugas. He had the perfect game plan and strategy for Pacquiao. Perfect. Way better than Pacquiao's game plan and coaching staff. Way better. Um, Pacquiao definitely could have did better even if he didn't have his legs. He should have did better with the distance. Uh, the, the coaching and himself should have adapted better to that distance. That Because that was terrible. If I had to pick one thing that Pacquiao did bad was his, his judgment of distance was terrible, but other than that, like he didn't do, he didn't get embarrassed. Like he, his hand speed was still there, his power was still there. He had spurts at the start of the fight where he looked good, but I think he said after after the second round, his his calves camped, his calves cramped up. So still a close fight, but definitely Ugas. I think generally he clearly won to me. I didn't score it round by round. But if I had to say, I would say seven to five, eight to four, something like that. So the judges had it correctly. I haven't rewatched the fight again, so I haven't scored it. But I think the fact that Pacquiao was missing so widely, like so, it, like he was missing his punches by like a mile, and Ugas was landing very clean, though he didn't hurt Pacquiao. He was landing very clean. Um, so, yeah, you got the ring rust. You got 
the calves cramping, couldn't use his legs. People jump to conclusion, he's 42, he's getting old. Pacquiao standards, that's not him. That's not Pacquiao, but... If you look at his punch out output, he threw quite a bit of punches. According to CompuBox, over 800 punches. I don't always go by CompuBox, though, but he did throw a lot of punches. And when he got close, you, his hand speed was very fast and on display still. So that's not an issue. Upper body looked fine. Just he wasn't using his legs. So I think one more fight, and I it has to be the Ugas rematch. It can't be anyone else. Of course, it could be, and he could look good. Styles make fights. He doesn't need his legs against certain fighters. Like a Brandon Rios, he wouldn't need his legs. He would still beat him up, right? Someone who would trade with him and who has shorter arms, he could not use his legs. Like a Danny Garcia, he could get away with a win without using his legs. But, like, uh, <clears throat> what was I saying? Yeah, so it has to be against Ugas if he's going to fight again. If he doesn't retire, it has to be the Ugas rematch. <clears throat> He did say that his last fight would be in the Philippines. I don't know if this would be the rematch that would be in the Philippines. There would probably be a fight after this that would be in the Philippines. I just can't see the rematch versus Ugas being in the Philippines. But I could be wrong. Um, so keep that in the back of your head. Pacquiao did say his last fight would be in the Philippines. So when it is in the Philippines, that's how you know it's his last fight and he's retiring. But until then, I think he's going to keep on fighting. He sounds like it in interviews that he's not he's not going to retire. But let, let me get back on track here. Um, <clears throat> so he needs to fight again for me, and I think for himself, to really convince himself, like, because in his head still, he's like, like, I would have won that fight if it wasn't for my calves, right? If I was more prepared for his style, I would have won. And you got to think with his ego... In his boxing legendary status, he knows what he's capable of. He can't go out like that, and he knows that. He's like he he's gonna give get the rematch. Ugas says he'll he's gonna give him the rematch. Respect to Ugas, classy guy. Uh, perfect strategy in that fight. He deserved the win. I'm glad, happy for Ugas. Um, but. If he rematches Ugas and it's the same result or worse. That's when it's time to hang him up. Because then he's just not consistent anymore. Like say if he has another problem with his body. Like I'm not saying they're excuses. Because the shoulder injury versus Mayweather. That was legit. There's facts. He wanted the numbing agent in his shoulder before the Mayweather fight. Why would he want that if he has a healthy shoulder? And he went into that fight. And he still won by two points on my scorecard. I watched that fight many times. Not in slow-mo. I watched it in real time. Pacquiao. It was a very close fight. Pacquiao won by two rounds every time I, I scored it. There were swing rounds. I gave them all to Mayweather, and I still had Pacquiao winning by two rounds in that fight. And then he gets a surgery after that fight. So for all those people saying, oh, he heard it during the Mayweather fight. No, he didn't. He asked for the, the numbing agent in his shoulder. He did not get it because he forgot to check a box, but he told them he wanted it, and then they refused it. Like, that's the stupidest thing. Why would he ask for it in a healthy shoulder? So that was an excuse. And what I'm getting to is, okay, he had the calf problem, right? <clears throat> so in this fight, he had the calf problem. His calves got tight. That's why he couldn't use his legs, which was not a lie. He wasn't using his legs. Um, what I'm saying is, though, other than the Mayweather fight in this fight, I guess when you win, you don't really say excuses, I guess. Um, then again, he, I don't think he had excuses against Jeff Horn. I think he just thought he won the fight, which he did. So other than the last time I remember him having an injury, a major injury was, like I said, was the Mayweather fight. And I'm not saying the calf thing is a major injury, but you haven't, <clears throat> you haven't really heard any complaints from Pacquiao of physical injuries. I know he's had the calf problems in the past, the tightness. Going back to what I remember, I think it probably went back to the beginning of his, his career because... When you have calves that are that muscular and big, you're bound to get cramps. They're less flexible. Like I know personally my uncle has big calves and he gets Charlie horses and cramps in his calves because they bulge out. I think the more muscular and developed your muscles are, the less flexible, the more prone you are to cramps. So I'm sure he's had them throughout his career, but I think when you're younger, you probably deal with it better. You recover from it. You don't get cramps as much maybe. 
but I remember him taking forever to fight Shane Mosley. He made the, the main event didn't start for 45 minutes after it was supposed to because he was stretching his calves on a treadmill because they were tight. So I do remember that. But other than that, he hasn't really had any physical major issues with his body. And this is why I get to this point, why I want him to fight um, again to prove if he should hang him up or not. Because if he has another physical problem, either if it's minor or, or major, which this, I think a calf tightness, it's kind of a minor issue, but obviously it, 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 it very much decreases your performance, obviously, right? But um, what I'm getting to is like, Say if he fights Ugas again, it's the same result or worse. And then he says, oh, my... Say if his calves again were tight or um, his arm was was just very sore during training. Then you know it's time to hang it up. And it's not... Because then you can't say it's bad luck anymore. It's just... You can just say then he is getting old because then he's just not consistent anymore. And I think that's what old age does to you. You're just not consistent anymore. So I feel like Pacquiao needs to come back for not only for the for fans like I want to see him come back, but for himself. And I know he is going to come back because knowing the interviews I've seen with him after the fight, right after the fight even, and then days after, he's gaining more and more confidence of wanting to come back. And his words are very like he's he's coming back. He he's coming back. He's not going out like that. Uh, um, but. I just think in the rematch, if he comes out and his legs are there and they have a full camp, camp to adjust to Ugas' style, and say <clears throat> say he didn't get old last or last Saturday, and that was true, it was just his legs, the game plan wasn't good, he should make this fight a lot better and beat Ugas, in my opinion. And I don't mean beat Ugas by like, a huge margin I think it will still be a close fight because Ugas is good fighter a good fighter but I think the scorecards will be reversed for Pacquiao it will be a 7-5 8 to 4 win for Pacquiao if his legs are good and he has the right game plan because I feel like the person um, like Ugas doesn't got to change anything really so Pacquiao is the one that can only get better and Ugas just has to stay the same so I feel like the person at the advantage in the rematch is the person who lost. Unless they got destroyed, then they're at a real big disadvantage. But when you lose a close fight and you get outpointed, I feel like the person going into the rematch has the advantage because they need to change stuff and they're going to be different. Whereas the other guy, they don't know what to do different because what they did worked, right? So I think one more fight against Ugas, the rematch... And if he does good, he continues his career. If he doesn't do good, then it's that's it. That's my opinion. Even if it's... Unless it's like very... It would have to be so close. Like like so close. Where it was a draw. Then I would still say maybe continue. But I feel like if he doesn't get the win, I think then it's time to hang it up. But it's all up to Manny. Um... And it's his, it's his, it's his, his, uh, decision. So, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think, but I don't think Pacquiao's retiring. You can tell he has the fire in his heart still. And he even said it in my heart, in my mind, I still, I'm still on a fight. This is fun. I enjoy this. It's just my legs. They were stiff. I couldn't move. And even with the interview with, uh, what's his name? That's Spanish guy for ESPN. I forget his name now. Uh, Oh, what's his name? Osuna, something Osuna. Uh, I can't. I can't think of it right now. You know who I'm talking about. He. It's the interview where he says, uh, "I right now I'm possibly thinking retirement," and then you could see right when he says that in his words, he's like, "I'm thinking retirement, maybe," and then literally two seconds later, he says, 60 40 and then he smiles. Look at it very closely. Right when he says 60-40 and then he has a little smirk. That's how you know he is not retiring. When you say you're not going to retire right after a fight, that's how you know. 
because after the fight, they're the they're that's when they're at their lowest. All those emotions are going through, and they might say something like, "Yeah, maybe I should retire." But the fact that he he corrected himself two seconds later in that interview, saying no, sixty forty, and then he smiled, and then like the uh, the press conference, the post conference too, he said, "In my heart, in my mind, I still enjoy this. It's, I want to fight." But then days after, when you get the emotions calmed down, you're more level-headed, that's when you you usually will find out for sure, like, okay, he might say, oh, he wants to continue now, or he wants to step away. But when you see a guy getting even more confident in his decision to continue his boxing career with each interview after as the days go by, that's how you know, like, this guy, he's coming back. Like, because right after the fight, if he said he was going to retire, I still wouldn't fully believe it. But you'd be like, oh, shit, like maybe he's going to retire. But the fact that he changed it to 60-40 and then like days later, he clearly, they clearly asked him, do you want a rematch? He's like, yeah, yeah, good. Yes. He, he wants a rematch and he's not retiring. And I agree with that. He needs to prove to himself. Like, is he old or not? Is it is this calf thing a, a sign of old age? Was it just ring rust? Was I just not adjusted for the style? Which all those things are real. Like, we can't discard that. Just because he's 42, we can't just blame 42. We can't blame the 42 when there was ring rust, the calves, and the style switch. Totally different style. Southpaw to orthodox. Cuban style to Errol Spence's style. It's totally different. So... And give credit to Ugas for being very well prepared. So you, you can't you can't take credit away from him either. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, guys, like uh, that's what I have for this video. Um, I just think that uh, like say if Danny Garcia, we'll just say for instance, or like a Mikey Garcia, when he fought Errol Spence, he got outpointed. Garcia looked bad, right? He got totally outboxed. The fact that since Marky Garcia isn't 42, we just think, oh, he's just not better. He's just not good enough for Spence. That's all we think. We don't think, oh, because he's old, right? So I feel like we jump to conclusions with Pacquiao being old because he looks not to Pacquiao standards. But like, if that was a Thurman uh, in there, or if that was like a like say, or Danny Garcia versus Spence. Like, he, Danny Garcia clearly got outpointed. It came up short. We don't think, oh, Danny's not... Danny's done. He's he's uh, he's past his prime. He can't compete again at the highest level. No, we don't think that. But the fact that Pacquiao's 42, everyone just writes him off being like, oh, yeah. Even though it was a close fight, he just got outpointed. We just write him off because he's 42? Nah. It was a two-year layoff. He needs, he needs to prove to himself in the rematch. And... Like I said, if this was Danny fighting Ugas or Thurman fighting Ugas, Ugas and it was the exact same result, we wouldn't be calling them old, right? Because they're not old. But if they lost the same way, we wouldn't be saying, oh, that's it. No, we'd be like, oh, maybe they can make adjustments. Uh, there was ring rust. Uh, like say if Danny or Thurman had the same circumstances as well, fighting Ugas. Like say they were supposed to fight... Say they were supposed to fight Spence and then Ugas went in as the last minute opponent and they hadn't fought in two years and then they looked like how Pacquiao did, which Pacquiao didn't look terrible. It was still a close fight. But I'm just saying is since they're not 42, they wouldn't be saying that. They'd be, they would actually be saying, oh yeah, the ring rust got to them and uh, the, the last week switch to Ugas really changed. Like they, they weren't ready for that style. So I feel like if... If they had the rematch, maybe they could adjust and win the fight. That's what they would be saying. But with Pacquiao, they think, oh, he's 42. So that's why we need this one more fight. Um, <clears throat> we just need to find out what Pacquiao has left. Because then we can't blame it on ring rust. And we can't... Obviously, he might has still have a little ring rust. But he should be ready for Ugas. Like, if he's still the same guy, one fight in should be enough to shake that ring rust for Pacquiao. And if his calves are good, like I said, we need to figure this out. We need to find this out. And Pacquiao needs to find this out. Is he still the guy? So let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next video.